Paul Winchell. You did, you did a lot of shows with him in the 50s. Oh, I did about five sh years of shows with him. How did that come about? How did you meet him? Uh, I met him in an Italian restaurant. And I went over to him and I said, I, I'm such a big fan of yours, you know. I wanted to meet you. And fortunately, he knew who I was. And the next time he started a show, uh, he called me. And I had, uh, it was no longer the seven men. I had a decent sized orchestra with Paul. What was, uh, he had a show called the Paul Winchell and Jerry Mahoney show. Right, then Jerry there was Mahoney's Clubhouse. Jerry Mahoney's Clubhouse. Uh, circus then there time. was a circus. Yeah. Uh, the Paul Winchell show. In all of those shows, did he have uh, Jerry Mahoney and, yep. and, and Knucklehead Smith? Yep, always had him. Paul really invented a uh, ventriloquist kind of talk. There are some letters you cannot say without moving your lips, like a B. You can say, see, our trumpet player's name was Bloom, Mickey Bloom. You can't say the M without moving your lips or the B. So his name was Nicky Gloon. And you try to make it sound like Mickey Bloom, but you substituted an N for an M in Mickey, Nicky, and Bloom you couldn't say, but Paul was able to make that G sound like a B, Nicky Gloom. And my name, I remember he always used to call, hey, Nilt, whether he was on the air or off, because you can't say Milt. And, and we used to be at Paul's house on Sunday nights after the show was over, and uh, we would all use ventriloquist kind of talk, and at the end we would say to Paul, thank you very much, because you can't say much, and you can't say very, so you substitute a TH. Thank you very much, and try to make it sound like thank you very much. While we were doing uh, the Winchell shows, uh, one of the writers, or Paul, somebody figured out that Jerry, the dummy, Jerry Mahoney, should have a girlfriend. And uh, they auditioned several girls and picked Carol Burnett. She was about 14 then, and she was just wonderful. And she's got that great kind of a memory of mind. Whenever I see her, she remembers that date in the 50s that she started the Winchell Show. And that's, that's such a kick to me, you know, that somebody should remember that. Was that as funny as it sounds, that Carol Burnett, as a teenager, was the girlfriend of a dummy named Jerry Mahoney? Sure. It was, it was funny, and she was great.